installation for privacy passage set. Part one, mark the door. The standard location for a passenger privacy set is to center the lever or knob at 36 inches to 39 inches off the finished floor. This is done to place the center of the handle at the center of the horizontal lock rail, and most lock rails are centered in this range. Fold the template on the dotted line and place it on the door at the low side of the bevel. Mark the edge bores for the correct door thickness and the face bores for the correct back set. Typically, the spring latch is centered in the door thickness. Drill the edge bore. Drill the one inch edge bore deep enough to accept the spring latch. A two and three eighths inch back set requires a three and one half inches deep bore. And the two and three quarter inches back set requires a three and seven eighths inches deep bore. Drill face bore. The door prep specification sheets provided with your set will give the appropriate face bores that are compatible with your trim. After verifying that you have the correct specs for your set and that the trim will fit on your door without any overlap or interference problems, the face bores can be done. If you are using a boring jig with a blocking ring, the door can be bored all the way from one side of the door. Drilling the door from both sides can avoid splintering the face of the door. It is recommended when not using a jig. Trace the faceplate. Slip the spring latch into the edge bore. Align the face of the latch so it is plumb, square, and located in the center of the door thickness. Trace the outline of the faceplate. Mortise faceplate with a chisel. Mortise the faceplate 5 32 inches deep. Mortise the faceplate with a router. Mortise the faceplate 5 32 inches deep. Chisel corner. Chisel each corner of the faceplate with a corner chisel so that it is clean. Drill pilot holes for faceplate. After you mortise the faceplate 5 32 inches deep, drill the pilot holes for the attachment screws with a Vix bit or any other self-centering bit. Adjust bevel for privacy. The threaded side of the privacy lug will need to be on the interior side of the door so it can accept the privacy button. Remove the faceplate and rotate the latch bolt head so that the bevel will face the jam. The latch may need to be inverted so that the privacy lug is facing the interior side of the door. Adjust latch for passage. Remove faceplate and rotate latch bolt head so it faces the jam and the arrow is facing up. Fasten latch. Attach the spring latch to the door with the two mounting screws. Part 
part two, trim installation, spindle installation, Insert the swivel spindle from the exterior side of the door, oriented on the dime, so that the spindle stop is seated against the lock hub. Slide the swivel spindle retainer into the spindle from the interior side, which should be the side of the spindle that has two grooves machined into the shank. Slip it into the groove that keeps the spindle from sliding back and forth. The correct position, the spindle stop and the retainer clip should be close to the hub but should allow the hub to rotate freely on either side. Install exterior and interior trim. Slip the exterior and interior trim onto the spindle and hold in place with a bar clamp. Align the trim so that the escutcheons are plumb, square, and the levers operate and return to the neutral position freely. The privacy button should be threaded through the escutcheon into the spring latch before the alignment process is complete. Once the trim is in the correct position, the pilot holes for the escutcheon screws can be drilled with a VIX bit or any other self-centering bit. The escutcheons can now be attached to the door. Check operation. Close and open the door several times to ensure the set is operating properly. The tab on the strike may need to be adjusted to ease the operation of the lever or not. 